Wildcats. Today is Friday, January 29th. I'm Sloka Sudden, and thank you for joining us on Wildcat Morning News. Where we always start your day with the latest announcements. I'm Shweta Krishnan. It's homecoming week. Friday is Colors Day, Monday is Jersey Day, and Tuesday is Super Spirit Day. Our homecoming king, queen, prince, and princess will be crowned at the game Tuesday night at Lassiter. Varsity girls play at 6 p.m. and boys play at 7.30. Go Wildcats! Students, please vote for your homecoming king and queen representatives for grade 12 and prince and princess representatives for grades 9 through 11. Voting will end at noon this Sunday, January 31st. Winners will be announced at the basketball game on February 2nd. You could win a $25 Amazon gift card. Just take a two-minute survey through our food nutrition services by scanning the QR code shown on the screen right now. Learning Links Tutoring is back. After school sessions start Tuesday, February 2nd and continue every Tuesday and Thursday in the cafe from 345 to 5, all semester long. This is a great opportunity to get help in all core subjects in which you are struggling, so don't wait. It is time to submit your poem to the Wheeler Library's Winter Poetry Contest. The theme is winter and the deadline is January 30th. Email your winter poetry to jacqueline.escott at cobk12.org. Attention all seniors. Voting for senior superlatives is now open through February 8th. Be sure to fill out the Google form by that day on the news and announcements page. Links will also be posted throughout the school and on our Instagram at Wheeler Yearbook 2021. It's official, spring track has started. If you're interested in joining the team, you must have a physical uploaded in Parent View. Practice is Monday through Thursday from 3.45 to 5 p.m. If you have any questions, email coachl at leticia.beverly at cobk12.org. It's time for the Wildcat Weather forecast. Today's forecast shows a high of 50 and a low of 29 with mostly sunny skies. Looking ahead to this weekend, Saturday has mostly cloudy skies while Sunday has rain. Today's good news is about a 94-year-old World War II veteran, Alfred Guerra. After his son passed away, he had a hard time keeping up with repairs and his home became uninhabitable. His daughter used social media to reach out to people for help and two organizations, the Military Order of the Purple Heart and Broken Warriors Angels responded. Many veterans got together and helped fix Guerra's home. While the house is far from being finished, Guerra and his family are very grateful for all the help they've received. Well, that's our show today. Remember, you can always get the latest school news on Twitter at Wheeler underscore high. I'm Shweta Krishnan. And I'm Sloka Siddhan. Have a great day, Wildcats.